Hey, welcome everybody. Steve from Open Bomb here. And I was sitting around today and I thinking, gosh, I haven't really updated you on some of the new features of the uh, Open Bomb for Fusion, for Autodisk Fusion integration. So I thought I'd sit down and, uh, and just go through the process as make a bomb and an order and some purchase orders and uh, put a bomb on a drawing and just do all those things that are that are cool with Fusion. And I want to point out at least two new features that I, I know you're really going to love. So the first thing I, I, I've done is signed into Fusion and made sure that I clicked any button that was up here that said uh, update my integration. So if you have that little red button, be sure to go ahead and do that. And then the next thing I've done is open uh, the gear uh, differential model. Everyone knows I'm a gearhead, so this is a great model for me. I like it. It's got some assemblies and sub assemblies. It's got a kit for bolts and a few other kind of cool things. It, uh, it's kind of a nice representative mechanical design. So, um, so let's, let's get started. The first thing I want to point out is a new button that you're going to see up here. And this is really cool. This generate next part number will get the next available part number from Open Bomb and assign it to my part in Fusion or my component in Fusion. And this is really cool. Now I've, I've used, um, uh, I've used the Open Bomb uh, feature to set up my part numbering and that's part of my catalog. You can find a, find a video on that. But this goes really nicely with the new Fusion Properties dialog uh, that, I, that I really like. And you can see here that um, I just like the way this looks. But you can see here this particular component, this diff housing, doesn't have a part number. I've already used this feature to, to assign some part numbers from some of my other bits and pieces. You can see I have my part numbering scheme set up to be an F and a dash and then four digits. So let's go ahead and, and just and, and use this new command here. I'm just right mousing here and saying, uh, generate next part number. I'm going to use this, this as a new uh, new open bomb command. It tells me what catalog to get the number from. It gives me some information about whether I want to override any existing numbers here. It tells me F1225 uh, is going to be my next part number. Yeah, that's what I want. And uh, and awesome, we have assigned now F1225 uh, to our next to our next part number. So that's that's really cool. Now I also happen to know that I uh, haven't done it yet to the top level up here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that, um, run that command here one more time and go ahead and assign a part number to my top level bomb. And I expect it to be something like uh, F1230. Let's just double check. And... Yeah, great. Okay, F1230. Got it. Okay. So now all my, all my stuff has part numbers. Something else I want to point out is I've got a bolt kit assembly here. Now this is a, this is a, a great little assembly, but I'm going to buy it as six bolts in a prepackaged blister pack. So I want to set the, the option here that says marked as purchase. Again, this is an open bomb feature that when I enable that with that check mark, that tells open bomb to, hey, put a line item in for this bolt kit, but don't bring all the sub pieces below it. You're going to buy all those as part of it. This is nice for a kit. It's nice for the case where I've modeled, let's say a pump, but I'm going to buy the whole pump assembly from Granger or from someone else. So go ahead and turn that feature on. I've got another assembly here, the tailstock, which I want Open Bomb to build a sub, sub assembly for. So I'm not going to turn that on there. So okay, it looks like this is this is ready to go. I'm going to create a bill of material with the with the multi level structure right there with the M button, and um, and let this go ahead and run the first time. Now I've jumped ahead, by the way, and set up some costs and, and a few other things in Open Bomb so that I can sort of expedite. Um, the next process that we're going to do, which is doing some cost roll-ups. But you can see here that, um, that the bomb comes through. I get this. It looks like I've skipped the cost on one, so ignore that for the moment. But you can see that my bolt, my bolt assembly, my bolt kit comes through as a bolt kit, but uh, there's no sub-assembly for it. That's because it's a purchased assembly. And then you can see that my tailstock assembly does get some structure because that's what I told Open Bomb to do. So, okay, let's jump over. I'm going to use the locate button right here. Let's jump over to this bomb in Open Bomb. Put me back over here. And let's just kind of take a little uh, deeper dive and see what we've got. Um, you can see that my extended cost is complaining a little bit, and that's probably because I don't have cost to find somewhere for this. So yeah, right here. Let me let me get that so I know the cost for that is thirty four dollars and forty five cents. So once I type that in, all my cost calculations work out. So um, this is a great looking bill of material. I've just got an order for ten of these differentials. I click the order button. I'm going to create that order for ten units, and I got these from 
ABC Auto, one of my best, one of my best customers. And um, I'm gonna build 10 of these for them. Okay, terrific, here is an order. It's like about five minutes in and I'm already creating some orders here, terrific. Um, this is where OpenBOM does all the calculations about quantity on hand and how many you need to build 10 and, and all of that. So this is where you do all your planning. Plenty of videos on that. But let's just go ahead and click the Create PO button and I'm gonna create a purchase order for this. And I can see that I've got two vendors um, that have items in this in this bomb. One is ABC Machine, the other one is Granger. Let's take a look at the at the ABC Machine PO. Again, this is really nice. I can do some planning here. If I if uh, you know Open Bomb is telling me that I need to order you know a, a twenty of these, but I really want to get a sp couple of spares, maybe I order twenty two. Um, this is where I kind of engage in some of the planning process, and I can send this over to QuickBooks. I can, if my company uses a more of an old school kind of a process, I can um, just create some, create a, a, uh, a PDF of, of that uh, PO. And let's take a look at that. Here we go. So here is a PDF. Uh, I'm at the six minute mark. I started with my model. I've already got PDFs of my purchase orders. I can fax or email this over to my supplier. That's, that's terrific. When my supplier ships me the parts, I click the receive PO button up there, click yes, and OpenBOM receives all those in, puts all those quantities that I just ordered, puts all those in stock. Okay, so that, that's cool. I can go ahead now, finish building those parts and, and, uh, and ship them out the door. Now, I, I, I wanna circle back because I do know that there's a, still a lot of folks that put, um, that put uh, bombs on the face of drawings. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the drawing for this differential. I wanna tell you that again, ahead of time, I went and created a, uh, a template for my drawing, and very easy to do with the, t with the Open Bomb Template Manager. And I just identified those fields that I want to have on my drawing. Real good. Let's just go ahead and pick up a, uh, let's make a parts list first. And overlook that. And then we're, and once this completes, we're going to go ahead and put this on the face of the drawing. A parts list is a little different than a multi level. Bomb. A parts list is kind of the typical thing that we would put on the face of the drawing. It's flat, doesn't have any structure, and it's more, uh, uh, say, it's more suited towards you know putting on the face of the drawing. You might have balloon callouts or what you what have you. So now, now that I've got that ready, I'm going to go ahead and grab that parts list and drop it right there. And you can see that uh, I am at uh, coming up on eight minutes, and we let me recap here for you. But we opened our favorite. Uh, 3D model in Fusion. We did a little bit of work by using uh, using the um, uh, using using the settings here to grab the part numbers, and also using the setting to mark it as purchased. So we kind of did a little pre work on our, our uh, on our assembly in Fusion. Click the multi level bomb button. Got a bomb and open bomb. Created an order. Did some costing. Created some POs. Received them back into stock. Went ahead and updated the drawings for the guys on the shop floor, threw a flat uh, uh, image of the bill of material on there, and we're done. So anyway, there we are in about eight minutes. We, uh, we, we got, a nice, got a nice process complete. We'd love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com, or if there's anything else you'd like to see in a video, please be sure to send it over there. Thanks.